In this video, we're going to take a look at how to price or quote jobs in Mosaic software. One of the most common questions I get asked is how do you go about pricing or quoting jobs in the software? So this video is designed to show you the different options you have and how you can go about it in Mosaic. So I've got here in front of me just a simple kitchen that's been drawn. I'm going to run across and go to the pricing tab. So as you can see, I'm on the products tab at the moment. I'm going to navigate over to the pricing tab. So in here, the first thing you want to do is select a template. The idea of a template is just different ways that you might want to price or different styles of pricing for the same job. So we'll jump into template and I'm going to go down to select a template and I'm going to have it on my option here called my pricing template. I'll show you a little bit more about that in a sec. Below there, we can give this a name. It will use the template name with today's date. It'll also then give you the option to filter out different rooms. So if you've got a job where you've drawn multiple rooms, you can choose to filter and price just one room at a time or let it automatically price all the rooms combined together. Coming down then, we've got the cabinet filter. So if you'd like to price particular cabinets and leave other cabinets out, you can use that to filter out the different options here. Next, we're gonna press the OK option. So as you can see now, the screen's been populated with all the different options based on the template that I've selected. So as we can see at the top here, we have color board one, 18 mil, nine sheets at $140 a sheet is $1,260. Then we come down to different types of materials that you might be using in the job. The total amount of materials that's used, so you can see 27 sheets of whiteboard at $40 a sheet is $1,080. Now, it's interesting to note that all these fields are actually configurable and changeable. So you can overwrite the price. So if you charge $50 for the whiteboard, you can double click in here and just change that to 50. And you'll see that the price, the total increase and the total at the bottom will also increase. So everything is editable within this one interface. As you can see, then we've got our subcategories over here. So we're looking at materials and then it branches down to banding. And we can see the different banding that's used in this job and the total amount of meters used. That way you know how many rolls of edge tape you might need. Taking a look at that then, you might also think, well, I need to order a 200 meter roll of this. So you can up that to 200 meters. So it's not just the price you can override, it's also the result or the quantity. Coming down then we've got 44 hinges at $6 a hinge, and then different draw guides, each one broken down with a different price listed against the draw guide. Coming down and then we've got the handles, so different handle prices. If you've got a handle selected for the job that you don't have a price in, again, you can just double click in here and enter the price that you'd like to charge for that handle. Coming down, it calculates the amount of shelf pins needed, so there's 62 shelf pins, X amount of screws that are needed for this job, the amount of doors that we've got coming in in that particular material, and then the amount of end panels in that particular material. Coming down from there, I've got a option turned on to estimate my machining labor. So with the machining labor, it's calculated around 30 hours of machine time. I'll show you a little bit about that in a second of how you can calculate or control what goes into that. Coming down to that, we've got 10 hours of factory labor. I'm going to show you how to control what is calculated as factory labor and how the software estimates that. Below that, we've got just over an hour of um, time for assembling the drawers, then time for mounting the runners, and then potentially, and this is an option you can turn on and off as well, all this is configurable, so you can turn any of these fields on and off, but this particular one's just designed for cubic meter, so we're just trying to estimate the storage that might be needed to have these items stored in your factory based on a cubic meter of space that it will take up to leave it in your factory while waiting to deliver or install this item. Coming down then, you can have different add-ons. So add-ons are really useful if you want to have a line item on your quote, like the removal of the existing joinery or perhaps the delivery of the new joinery. And then another option for potentially um, installation, some people use a cabinet rate. So you might say, okay, well, it's uh, $100 per every base cabinet that I need to install. There's 10 base cabinets, there's $1,000. So you can do a cabinet rate, or you could just list that out as another line item where you'd say, I'm gonna estimate, I wanna allow $2,000 for installation. Whatever it is, you can control it in a few different ways to help set it up to price the jobs the way you want to price. Coming down then, I've got an option here for hanging the doors. So it's it's estimating per hinge uh, amount of time. So I've got 44 hinges. I want to allow uh, $5 per hinge, and that's giving me another $220 of margin to hang the doors at the install. And then an allowance here for installing the handles as well. So again, another option that you can include on your quote. Coming down below that then, we've got an option here to say, okay, well, let's 
look at the margin and markup. So this is an item where you can control really what the, the margin is of what you're making on that job. So as we can see here, it's set to 50%. So based on the running subtotal of all the items above that, it's calculating that it would be $7,000 as the running total of that as a 50% markup. For example, if I was to change this to 100%, we'll see that double. So you'll see it go to a $14,000 margin. So you can toggle this to the different margin that you want to set for each job. Obviously with different clients, you're going to have different margins. Regular clients, you might offer a lower markup or if the client is a more difficult client or you're expecting the job to be difficult or hard for any reason, you could increase your markup. So you've got different options there to control that. Just coming down below that in my template, I've got a few blank line items here. These line items could be used for things like adding on your stone price. So maybe your stone mason has given you a price. So you could say stone quote or stone price or anything like that. And again, this can just be done on the fly like I'm doing here. And then you can enter a price. So you might come back and say the stone was priced at $5,000. Whether or not you want to mark that up at all, again, the client doesn't need to see this, but you can choose to put in a percentage there if you wish. So below the stone quote, if there's anything else that you need to allow, you can do that there. Um, I've also got a line item here to calculate the total quantity of parts in case I want to allow something, you know, for like storage or wrapping up the parts uh, or shipping the parts. Perhaps if I'm a flat pack company, I might want to allow a certain amount of uh, price per part to do this sort of thing. So I've got 26 parts. I might want to say, okay, well, for every part, I need to allow a $50 charge. That's going to add the certain price to my job there. Uh, and then I've got a total amount of square meterage of parts as well. So perhaps you need to calculate freight based on the, the space that it takes up, um, or perhaps you just want to calculate something like the, the painted area of the job based on the square meterage of material being used. Again, you can, you can use that sort of line item to help you with that there too. Uh, coming down then, we're calculating our grand subtotal uh, of the job, including our 10% for GST, and then giving us the total price of that job. Uh, you can have items here for a percentage of a deposit, whatever deposit you need to receive, and then whatever the balance due is. So look, this is all very configurable, and you can do different pricing runs, and they're very quick to generate. So as you can see up here, I can go to my pricing template, you can say, well, what would this look like if I was to look at it in a very simple per linear meter option? Now you can see there's a very simplistic template. It's just basically, I've got a base cabinet. I've got 8.63 meters of base cabinets at $450 per meter. Again, it's all configurable. You could change that to whatever you like. And you don't have to do it every time. You could just change it in the template so it comes out that way every time. And everything's going to reflect an update there. Uh, you can add combinations of all these different things into your own template. Very easy to do. Dropping that down, let's say what happens if I look at a different template. Maybe I'll do something like materials plus markup. Looking at this, this is just calculating all the materials similar to the previous uh, my pricing template we looked at, just with a higher markup. So I'm not estimating labor and factory time and installation and all that in this template. It's just going, okay, well, whatever my raw fixed costs are of what I'm buying in for this job, double that and that's going to give me my total price. You know, or you might decide to triple that or whatever it is. Everyone tends to go about this a different way and it's just showing you here the different options that you have in the software to cater for it the way you might want to go about it. So there are lots of different templates in there as options, um, but let's take a look at how you might want to go about setting your own option up. So to do that, let's just get out of there and we'll jump into this option up here called Template Editor. So this Template Editor will allow you to come in and create your own template. So I can just create one here and call it Example. And with that one selected, I can then go into my pricing items and say, well, what do I want to see? Maybe I want a price per cabinet. Maybe I want to know the material costs. Maybe I'd like to know the appliances or the edge banding or the hinges or the draw guides or the handles or the shelf pins all the screws, or I might want to know my meter rate per cabinet. Uh, there's a lot of different options in this list of what you can drag out and control. You know, you might want to know what the labor costs are and what the machine time is. Uh, you might want to know what the, you know, you might want to have add-ons available below that. You might want to mark it up by a certain amount. Again, all of these things are configurable. You can click in the fields and type in a name. So this could be my markup field. So you can give these items different options and come down there and say, okay, I just want to know the subtotal the tax and the total. So very quick to create your own template. 
save that. And then to use that template, we want to go into select, select a template, and then go ahead and choose that example template and hit OK. So this one, I've got a the cabinet lists at the top of the template. I've got my materials, my appliances, banding, hinges, draw guides, handles, shelf pins, screws, labor content, total markup, and then a subtotal below that. Again, all configurable to however you want to lay that out. Um, you'll notice some of these cabinets have prices against them. So if you want to do a cabinet price, you would go basically through your library and put a price per cabinet on there. So you might go into a particular cabinet and go into the price in field and nominate a price against that cabinet. So if you're a flat pack company or a company that sells uh, items per, per product, then you might want to nominate a price for that product, or you might want to say a price per meter of that product or a price per square meter of that product. You've got different options and you can also add ancillary options onto that. So maybe that item could come with a pull-out pantry and that pull-out pantry would cost a certain amount. That could be something you add to that price item here. So again, lots of different options and a way you can go about pricing it. And then it'll all reflect back to the pricing tab here when you run your pricing template. So a couple more things I just want to cover off in this pricing video. Let's have a look in the settings to just understand how some of those things are calculating. So we can see here we've got the machine costs. You can enter your machine cost per hour or what you're charging your machine out at. You've got your handling time per sheet. So you might say, okay, well, every sheet I need to handle for an additional five or 10 minutes to put labels on, sort the parts out, stack the parts, whatever I need to do from there. The cut times will be determined based on your tooling library set up in the Mosaic Optimizer, providing you are running the Mosaic Optimizer, which comes included with Mosaic CNC Complete or is available as an add-on for Mosaic Manufacturing. Below that, we've got our handling time. So that there is the amount of time that you would handle each part as it flows through your factory. So think of that as like, you want to allow some time there so you can pick that part up and potentially put it through an edge bander or anything other process that it needs to go through to be manufactured or to be ready to be assembled in your shop. Coming down below that, we've got our shop labor. So think of that as your amount of minutes per box or amount of minutes per cabinet. So you can enter a, a total amount of minutes there. And then you can come down here and say, okay, the amount of minutes you want to allow per meter of cabinet or per opening. An opening would be like the space between shelves, for example. If you had a cabinet with four shelves, there'd be five openings, for example. Uh, amount of minutes per door or per draw box or for finishing off the cabinet and getting that ready to, to go. And then you can charge all of that based on a certain rate for a shop rate or an overhead. Again, you can set them to what you'd like. Coming over to the left hand side of this screen here, we can see that we've got a finished area calculation. This can be useful for helping estimate the amount of painted area in a job. So you could determine what you want it to be painted, whether it's the, the end panels to be painted or perhaps just the, the face of the doors and drawers. If you don't want the backs of the doors to be painted, you could untick that option. Perhaps you want, whenever I nominate that this cabinet has a finished interior, it calculates that the interior of the cabinet needs to be painted as well. Coming down then, you've got like the bottoms of the overhead cabinets, applied panels or end panels, uh, finished backs for bar backs, things like that. Draw boxes, probably not, or tray boxes, which we call an inner drawer probably we wouldn't be painting them. So you could untick those options. That way they're not included in the finished area calculation. Then coming down, if you if you do run the Mosaic Optimizer, you've got two options for how you can estimate the materials. It can be based on an amount of square meterage plus a waste percentage as set in your material library, or it can utilize the optimizer in the background. So it can actually nest and run the, the sheets through the optimizer and tell you an exact quantity of the sheets that are needed rather than going off an estimation. Again, providing you are using the optimizer, which is an add-on to Mosaic Manufacturing or included in Mosaic CNC Complete. Coming down there, if you want to hide cabinets with zero price, you've got an option for that as well. Okay, so I'm gonna flick back to my pricing template now, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you this other option over here that we like to call the what if function. So the what if function is a really cool feature. It's basically allowing you to create multiple different prices if the clients come to you and said, hey, I, I want to see what my job is if I upgrade my drawers to a, a better quality drawer, or maybe if I change my door style to a different door style, what's the price difference going to cost me? That is the what if function. So let's go ahead and on option two here, I'm going to say, let's change our drawers to the Intivo drawers. And you'll see that the price has changed. So it's gone up by about four or $500 there. And let's go ahead and go, well, let's add a third option in. So let's say, well, what happens if I also go with the Intivo drawers, 
but this time I'm also going to say let's upgrade our doors to the shaker door style. I'm going to choose my default tooling and then we'll see the price has increased by around about $2,000 there. So you can present different options and then if the client comes back and chooses that they want to accept option number two, well you press the accept button here and Mosaic will automatically present an option to say, hey, do you want to change the room design to the selections that your clients made? Which then means that our room settings have automatically been changed over to the Intivo option for the drawers. So then all the drawers in the room are now automatically using the Intivo drawers. So one of the really cool functions is that the price in field you know, directly talks to all the other fields in Mosaic. So whatever you're doing in the pricing area is making its way back to what you're doing in the design side. Uh, so it's all really nicely integrated. From there, if you're done with this and you're ready to just print that out, you could of course go to file and choose print and you could print that current view. Another option is you can go here to export and you could export this here as a CSV. So then you could open it up in Excel and work that data further, or perhaps integrate that with a third party ERP system, or perhaps a job management system, or another quoting system. You could take all that data out and pull it into different softwares. Another option you have there is the ability to create your own reports, which is really cool. So you can create your own quotes, reports uh, that you print out from this. So from here, I can go to my reports and go select and then I could choose which type of report I want. We've got a couple of sample ones in there. And again, you can create your own. And that basically launches here like a, a contract or a quote or something like that. This is an interface that is like Microsoft Word or Excel. It's a Microsoft Office kind of interface where you can really design your own reports in here. You can draw them up however you like, uh, add your own logos and content, uh, add your own header, footer, break that down. You could show as much or as little uh, of the price as you wanted. You could show just the totals as I'm showing here, or you could break down and you could show all the all the individual light items that we had in our quote previously. Um, so this is all configurable by this report editor here, where you can design your own reports. So the report editor is basically an interface that you can design your own reports. You can start here and just create a template from scratch where you could enter your own information, and then you can go ahead and drop in whatever data from Mosaic you'd like to see. So things like the customer name, job name, etc. Uh, anything from the room, like the room selections, finishes, uh, colors, all those kind of things, um, and any of the pricing tables. So if you want to see what the materials were, what the draw guides, runners, hinges, any of those pricing tables that you were using can all be dropped in and set up as a nice template here so that you could print this out and present that to your clients in a really nice presentable format. So that's a little bit of an overview of what the pricing area of Mosaic looks like, what you can do, um, how you can interact with it, the speed of it, how quick it is to generate a price, and just a little bit of an overview of the interface. So you can really see the benefits and advantages of the Mosaic pricing option. Quite a lot of people do come to me and say that I didn't know that Mosaic actually had the functionality to, to price and quote jobs. So this video is really just to show that the functionality is there and you've certainly got a lot of options there to, to jump in and really make that work for your business. Hope that video has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to get in contact. More than happy to have a chat about the power of Mosaic and how it can benefit your business.